So I wanted to expand on uh, feedback and what you can do with feedback. Um, so this is a simple voltage follower with, with feedback and you use this circuit to have a very high impedance input and a low impedance output. And this feedback makes sure that whatever's on the input is on the output because of the uh, differential uh, amplification of the op amp. But it not, might not be enough drive current Let's say you're building a headphone amplifier or something and you just need a little bit extra current. You can put in a, uh, an output section like this and uh, that works great. We've seen this circuit in the uh, op amp series. But um, this might add some distortion to the signal and make the audio sound bad. So instead of uh, putting the uh, feedback here, uh, bring the feedback all around this whole section. So uh, again, whatever happens on the input must happen on the output. This, uh, this circuit will do all of that. And by bringing this feedback path in around, you can eliminate all of the uh, distortion of this section. So yeah, use the, use the feedback to your advantage. Um, we saw that in the Rode amplifier and, and Neumann amplifier. They, they brought back the output all the way back to the input to eliminate any um, total harmonic distortion. So that's how they used it. So let's go ahead and use this in a different circuit. Um, let's see, let's look at, let's look at this circuit first. Um, so again, we have a high impedance input, uh, a follower, and we wanna capture the peaks of the signal. So we're going to put this rectifier in here. So any peak voltage is going to be captured on this on this capacitor. So this works great. The only problem is this this diode drop. If you have 0.7 volts of diode drop and you only have a one volt signal, well, you only have about 0.3 volts left over. So that's not going to do you a lot of good. Um, how can we get rid of that diode drop? Well, again, we're going to use the trick of this feedback. We're going to put the feedback through this whole circuit, so uh, this will capture exactly the peaks of the uh, of the input, but still act as a uh, rectifier. So let's go look at a rectifier circuit. Uh, we're going to look at just uh, just this, just a diode and a capacitor, and so let's see let's see what that does to a signal. So here's our diode, and here's our capacitor. And so that's the only thing in the circuit. Uh, this comes from the signal generator and we're going to be monitoring with an oscilloscope the input and we're going to be monitoring the output, uh, channel one, channel two. So let's look at channel one. Let's see what we have set up. I decided to go ahead and use the um, uh, cardiac pulse from my, from my fancy waveform, or, uh, waveform generator. Um, and so we're getting these, th getting these peaks. So if we take a look at channel two, uh, we can see that we have uh, a rectified voltage and it's working great, except that we're losing the peaks. Um, they are down in voltage. So this is a uh, one volt per division. So we're losing, in this one, we're losing about 0.4 volts something like that. Not too bad in the circuit, uh, but we're losing 0.4 volts. All right. So let's say that we want to capture the peaks, but we don't want to capture them forever. Uh, we only want to capture them from, for, for some short period of time. Uh, well, we can do that. So in our circuit, um, let's, let's look at this circuit. We're going to put a resistor on the output. So that resistor will bleed this capacitor. It will start discharging this capacitor. So let's go ahead and put that, uh, put that resistor in the circuit. Uh, I'm putting in 100K. 100K ohms. And it doesn't want to go into that one there. There we go. Okay, so 100K ohms. Well, let's see what that does to the uh, waveform. 
And so we can see that we're uh, fast in the positive direction because the diode starts to conduct. And then uh, when the signal goes away, the capacitor has to hold that voltage, but we have that bleed resistor in there. So it's going to bleed it off until the next event happens. So in audio uh, talk, I'm, I'm going to be using this as a release feature. So we'll have an attack and a release. You can change how fast it attacks and you can change how fast it releases. We're just looking at the release right now. But again, we're not capturing this peak value. So we'd like to capture that peak. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't put the op amp in the circuit. All right, uh, I've taken our little circuit here and put it into the feedback path of the op amp that we had here. And so let's see, let's see how we do now. That's looking good. So our uh, peak detector is reaching right up to the tippy top. Kind of zoom in on that. So uh, peak detector fires and gets that gets that peak. No voltage wasted, and our uh, release circuit still works just fine. So that's how to use uh, feedback to get rid of uh, distortion or to get rid of any voltage drop that may be in the uh, circuit.